How do you know I listen to blank? What's up? You're watching Hive Mind, the most chivalrous show on the internet. My name is Riley Zosner, and my shysty co-host, Dignan. That's right. Look, what's that over there? Whoa! I just stole your wallet. Why'd that hurt? <laughs> Ooh, my pockets are hurting. <laughs> Today we're telling Jimmy Kimmel to get lost. This is Guess, Guess the, the rapper, rapper from, from the, the Mean Tweet. tweet. So we're gonna see a mean tweet about a rapper, but their name is gonna be redacted, and we're gonna have to guess which rapper that tweet's about. One point for each one we get right, me versus Diggy versus you. Macy from San Antonio, Texas. All right, before we do, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you wanna see more, HiveMindTV.com for our merch. Consider joining our Patreon, $5 a month, best way you can support us, you get extra content. And also consider booking a cameo with us. We're on Cameo, you can get us to say whatever you want. Finally tell your dad, to eat dirt. Eat dirt, daddy. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> this first tweet comes from James Earl Bones. The at inadequate name. I think it's adequate. I do too. Yeah. I, I wish I would have thought of it. <laughs> and this tweet says, blank has the hairline of a guest pastor on Easter Sunday. That's an image I don't really relate to. I've been to a lot of Easter Sundays and I've seen very few good hairlines. Yeah. <laughs> I have a friend whose hairline's so bad he considered becoming a priest. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like I'm getting a wife anytime soon. <laughs> Who got a bad hairline in the game? I feel like everyone's so crispy. Maybe this is somebody who used to have a bad hairline. Oh, and they got it re-crispified? Yeah. It's gonna be crazy in like, you know, 20 years. We're gonna have like 75 year old rappers. Oh, I know. They'll be like at the Grammys. They'll be like, and eh, we're showing recognitions for 50 years in the rap game. And someone is gonna be like, <laughs> and they're like helping him up. And he's like, <laughs> throws up a set. <laughs> and like sits down. <laughs> Old people shake a lot. Yeah, that's true. Three, two, one. Kanye. That's what I guessed. Is Tory Lanez. Uh, I almost thought but Tory got it re-crispified. Yes. He got the fake one. It's painted on. Yes. Him and LeBron both. Damn. Because I saw a video pop up on my YouTube recommended the other day that was Kanye, and it was a comparison of his hairline a few years ago to now, and he also got his fixed up, oh, which okay. I didn't know that. I did know. I, I've i seen some changes in it that yeah. don't look natural. That's why I guessed him. Wow. Second tweet we've got. Blank sounds like he's missing all the beats on Rock Band. <laughs> oh. What, does it make a noise when you miss the beat on Rock Band? I wouldn't know. Uh, I was just so tight in the pocket, you know what I mean? <laughs> you were tight. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, I got a buddy who's a jazz drummer, and he's pretty down bad financially right now. His pockets are tight. <laughs> yeah, that one's not great, but it's it's a it is something. <laughs> this would be like based off the sound or somebody being really off beat. Right. That's, that's what how, I'm that's saying. That's the only ways I can the two ways I can think about yeah. it right now. Three, two, one. But Blueface. I put MGK. It is Kanye West. Oh, really? Yes. That's interesting. <laughs> what? I don't get even how this is. What does this mean? It's like saying Paul McCartney's out of key. <laughs> okay. All right, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> White. <laughs> Next one is from Keith at XTC Keith. How do you know I listen to blank? And then we've got a visual here. An absolute gas pack fit in front of what seems like art. I think that's vandalism at that like, point. It looks like someone put a bomb in a My Little Pony and the wall got painted by its guts. <laughs> is that a baby bottle or a whippet canister thing? <laughs> That'd be a big whippet. <laughs> no, like a, the thing you use. The cracker. To, what cracker? Is yeah. that what it's called? Mm -hmm. Low key, this does look like a whippet cracker. The person. No, I don't get this new generation of music. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Echo 2K. I put Blade. It is Blade. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna write Drain Gang at large, but I figured that wasn't an acceptable answer. Right, well, uh, you got it. Boom. I thought it also could have been Lucky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Drain Gang's kind of like the new Grateful Dead. Yeah, You know what I mean? That, their fandom has like a specific style. Yeah. And they stink. Yeah, drainers. <laughs> yeah. And Blade is Jerry Garcia, John Mayer. <laughs> new front man for Dream Gang. <laughs> Next, oh my God. This is an actual tweet from Sam. Blank has got to have something nasty on Cole Bennett because his music sucks way too much to be getting all those videos. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> oh my God. Oh geez, I know who this is. <laughs> he hit me up and said, you guys should do another one of those mean tweets videos you used to do. I'll help put together the tweets. This was probably all, all for out. him to get himself oh, in yeah, this yeah, video. Yeah. Three, two, one. Put snot. Little skies. It is snot. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Geez. There was a run there where Cole Bennett had did like six videos in three months or something yeah. for snot, where I was like, this is getting a bit much. Something's going on. <laughs> yeah. Who's dating whose sister? <laughs> <laughs> for the record, I don't think that snot sucks. No, neither do I. And I don't think Sam sucks either for having this opinion. I think it's, <laughs> it's valid. There you go. I think we should introduce valid into the based and cringe conversation. 
Oh, based cringe or valid? Kind of like a middle ground. Oh. You know what I mean? You have based and cringe, and then you just have valid. You're neither, really. I feel like valid's pretty close to based. It's close, but it's not based. That's like, true. your dad's valid. He's not based. <laughs> oh, okay. That's fair. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to introduce valid into the base cringe conversation, let me know down below in the comments. Is this tweet based cringe or valid? <laughs> Next one we've got. Okay, so this is a two tweeter. Okay. Rabbit emoji goo at beef loaf. <laughs> Which is... Valid. Blank sounds like he constantly has an air bubble in his throat and he's just trying to mumble it out. This melatonin not working, I'm gonna listen to his new album till I fall asleep. <laughs> All right, so there's a few elements in this one. It sounds like they have an air bubble in their throat. Mm -hmm. They're also trying to mumble it out. Yeah. And they make boring music. I was gonna say, is there anything besides an air bubble that could be in your throat? But I guess a burp is a gas bubble. Or a cock. <laughs> <laughs> could be in there. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey. Yeah. There could be. Let's like the possibilities. I mean, let's not rule it out. <laughs> Some things you just gotta try and unhear. <laughs> Was that based, cringe, or valid? <laughs> Let me know. Three, two, one. I put nav. I put play by Cardi. Is yeet. Ah, oh, oh, that, makes that sense. does make sense. He's got that little warble to him. And he does have a new album. Yeah. Oh, I didn't look at the date either. I should have looked at the date. That's that coincidentally is how, how my last dinner date went. Should have looked at the date. You ah, know? you didn't look at it. my phone. Yeah. Jeez. A lot of notifications. <laughs> I don't really trust any of the animal emojis, to be honest. If people are using those, I don't. I don't trust like that. I see what you're saying. You know what I mean? When they get you, yeah, there's a certain type of girl who uses them uh -huh. too, that I like, I'll get them in a text and ah. be like, oh, they, we're not gonna mesh. No shot we're getting along in person. No way. You just use the little monkey emoji. Oh, the little monkey one? <clears throat> that is a literal deal breaker. You're a person, me. act Which, like it. Yeah. <laughs> Should we hang out? Yeah, no. <laughs> it's so funny because when emojis first started happening, I thought of it as like, these are lame and yep. nobody's gonna use them and it's gonna be lame if you do. And now you like have to like emojis. Like yeah. everybody uses them, yeah. but there's wrong, right and wrong ones to use and right mm -hmm. and wrong context for them. Like I was listening to an interview the other day, Jesus and Miro yeah. interviewing Pusha T. Sure. They asked about how he got Jay-Z on Neck and Wrist, the mm -hmm. song that just came out. Great song, by the way. Pusha T said, whenever he has a, a beat he doesn't know who could rap on, he sends it to Jay-Z. Yeah. And they said, oh, what did Jay-Z say, say back when you sent? He said he just, he sent back like some emojis or something. And I'm like, that is so funny. Like Jay-Z <laughs> sent Pusha T emojis. Like purple devils yeah. or like fire emojis yeah. or like, or like Squirt gun. the one with the, the little face bluffing out a little bit of smoke. <laughs> the, could have been the nut emoji. <laughs> it's just funny. Like we all use emojis. No matter how manly yeah. you are, everybody mm -hmm. uses these funny little pictures. Yep. <laughs> Can you use emojis with te like voice to text? Can yes. you say like winky emoji and it'll put it? Yeah. Nervous emoji. Nervous emoji. Uh, nervous emoji. Got it. Cop emoji. Got cop it. emoji. Cop emoji. <laughs> oh, okay. Cop car emoji. Cop car emoji. Got cop it. car emoji. Cocaine emoji. Oh, cocaine no, emoji. No, that cocaine make, emoji. No, 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 no. Glove compartment emoji. Uh -huh. Glove compartment emoji. <laughs> Glove compartment emoji. Shovel emoji. Money emoji. <laughs> gun emoji. <laughs> Red circle with the line through it emoji. Jail emoji. <laughs> Passport emoji. Plane emoji. <laughs> Any other country's flag emoji. <laughs> no one would have thought blank is the guy Rihanna would settle with five years ago. This is yet another evidence that ugly dudes will always keep getting the most beautiful girls. Well, this seems pretty clear cut. Uh -huh. <laughs> is it a little trick though? No, I don't think it is a trick. Three, two, one. Rocky. Her husband. Is ASAP Rocky. Okay, okay. <laughs> I do love that this tweet is included because this seems to be an overwhelming sentiment on Twitter. Yeah. People are like, ASAP Rocky doesn't deserve, I'm like, He's like the hottest guy ever. Yeah, isn't he supposed to be super handsome? Yeah, everybody says he's super hot, but then some people are like, nah, he's ugly as hell. I think they 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 match up well. They're both like pretty insanely hot. Yeah, they're both good looking. Not really my type. You seem underwhelmed. What's the deal? By like what? People saying ASAP Rock's ugly? No, no, no. But you seem underwhelmed by both of their beauties. Yeah, you say, I am. Really? Yeah, not really my type. I like clean cut professionals. Someone who works in an office setting. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? Collared shirt to work, nine to fivers, pleated pants. That kind of shit is what gets diggy off. So you kind of get off on like stock photo websites. <laughs> oh, don't even say it. Don't say you work for a mortgage company because I'll ask you on a date. <laughs> don't even begin to tell me you sell life insurance because I'll want to spend the rest of my life with you. <laughs> Next we've got, I can't believe blank fat self really got the nerve to eat everything but pussy. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh shit. we finally got to the spicy ones. Yeah. This is a heater. This is a heater, and I know who it's about. Yeah, I remember there being some kind. Ah, I think I know who it's about too. Oh yeah. Three, two, one. DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled. It is DJ Khaled. <laughs> I love that all rules about body shaming go out the window when you say you don't go down on your wife. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> all of a sudden, it was like fat, fat, fat bald, <laughs> idiot, ugly. <laughs> now, do you enjoy giving cunnilingus yourself? Absolutely. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. It's a great time. Mm -hmm. It's cool. Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Let me introduce you to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Next we've got from Eyes the Wizard. Weird take. Blank always sounds like he's chanting spells while stirring up a cauldron in his raps. Ooh, okay. Let's imagine this. An esoteric <laughs> rapper. <laughs> there you go. Some gurgling, crackling cauldron in some train yard. That's Glenn Campbell. Three, two, one. I put Kid Cuddy. I put Cardi again. This is Pusha T. Ah, that told yeah, I, I hear that. I hear that for sure. You hear the witchy vibes? Yeah, a Pusha? little bit. There's some it's so enunciated. That's yeah. like the thing. It's mm -hmm. just like I just went with the esoteric rapper, you know what I mean? Looks like the cauldron was full of coke. <laughs> All right, I was thinking about this the other day. Yeah. What color is a duck? Yellow. Right. Yeah. How come the two most famous cartoon ducks are black and white, not yellow? I've seen very few black and white ducks out there. Also, what kind of a name is Daffy? Yeah, it's not a real one, I'll yeah, tell you that. Yeah. Donald, sure. Yeah. Daffy, huh? Yeah. Never met a Daffy. Mm -mm. If I met a guy in a bar and I was like, what's up, man? Name's Riley. He's like, Daffy. I'd be like, what the hell? I'd be like, no, it's not. What's that short for? Daffodil? Daffaniel? <laughs> Next, we got a pickle at Partly Cloud A. <laughs> it's partly cloudy. Okay. Julia cool. Fox is a news anchor. <laughs> Up next, Julia Fox with weather. It's partly cloudy. <laughs> Can you ever just look at someone and know they would have went crazy over blank 12 years ago if they knew what hip hop was? Ooh. Ooh. 12 years ago, 2010. So this person's at least 12 years old. <laughs> Right. <laughs> good. Yeah. Deductive reasoning. Yeah. Good deductive reasoning. Yes. Thank you. That rules out a few. <laughs> rules out all the eleven-year-old rappers. Three, two, one. I put Wiz Khalifa. I put Ludacris. It is Asher Roth. Mm, <laughs> what does that person look like? That you were gonna tell them that. If they knew what hip hop was, they would have been obsessed with Asher Roth. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Next, we've got from Jeff. Lol. <laughs> Blank really is just some guy who makes music for boring dudes who think they aren't some guy. <laughs> The response from tortured existence. <laughs> Finding out he talks like that without reading anything was only a revelation to his own listeners. This one is like philosophical and twisty turny. I don't like how it's making me think. Boring dudes who think they aren't just some guy. Like, what does that even mean? Hey buddy, what do you think you are, some guy? <laughs> I lost my V to a girl named Vendetta. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Drake. I put Jack Harlow. This is J. Cole. Mm. <laughs> Is he reading his raps? What is going on? I feel like him saying he talks like that. Oh, like, he's talking like he's reading. Yes. I get it. Yes. Which is like, he's like, he thinks he's like so sophisticated or whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he like talks nerdy. Like yes. he talks like, yeah, yeah. like woke or some shit yes. like that. But like you're talking oh, like you're reading right out of something. You're talking like you're reading yeah. something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I kind of get it now. now. I kind of yeah. get it. Next one from Nintendo Game Cubanon. <laughs> At Spanky Pants YT. So it looks like they're a YouTuber. Blank makes music for people who've never had sex and browse reddit.com. <laughs> Spanky Pants, I'm about to check out their YouTube too. Here's the first two titles of videos that I'm seeing for Spanky Pants YouTube, okay? Spanky Pants gets arrested at a DMV and Frauditor Spanky Pants released from jail. <gasps> this is Frauditor? Our Frauditor. 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 Is that Fraudulent Redditor, or is that- Frauditor. <laughs> <laughs> Incel rap. Three, two, one. I put Eminem. That's what I put. Is JPEG Mafia. Oh, no. <sighs> you love JPEG Mafia. I do, and I'm also a virgin, and I love Reddit, so. <laughs> so. I knew it had to be someone a little bit newer. Right, but yeah. This is not the first time this week that we've mixed up Eminem and JPEG Mafia. It's <laughs> weird. <laughs> two videos ago. You can check Watch them. Yeah, two videos ago. All right, this is the last one, but we are tied. So if we have to go to a tiebreaker, we have them ready. Mm -hmm. This is from Meriwether. Blank should stick to acting much. <laughs> His lyrics are trash as shit, and all he raps about is how white he is. 
<laughs> I like should stick to acting much. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> stick to acting much? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Hood up, I gotta think. Uh -huh. It's really only one person that comes to mind. Three, two, one. I put Lil Dicky. That's what I put. It is Childish Gambino. I thought that. I thought that. I thought that. <laughs> I thought that. It's Childish Gambino. How white he is. Mm -hmm. So we go into overtime. All right, it is time for overtime. Extra baseball. All right, so our overtime tweet is from Yeezy808. Who gives a fuck? Blank is literally garbage. If I want to hear people moan, I'll go on Pornhub. <laughs> <sighs> so who's moaning? I mean, this one's weird because it's so many Kanye fans. Yeah, I did think that in too. In here, like I can see their, like did Donda 2 get finished today? Uh -huh. Yeezy 808. Oh, what the heck? Three, two, one. I put Gunna. I put Drake. This kid Cuddy. Oh, <sighs> that is the P power. Yeah, that's, I, I really didn't think it was gonna be that, but then that, I just couldn't come up with an answer that made any sense. Kid Cuddy be moaning. Right, humming more though, he hums. <sighs> so a Kanye fan who hates Kid Cuddy, that seems weird. That does seem weird, but. I think it was in the era of the beef. Mm. Right, right, right. He called Kanye a fucking dinosaur and said he didn't want to, or he was the best part of his albums anyway. Our second overtime tweet is from Jacinda. Blank reminds me of a Slim Jim that lost its color and is expired. <laughs> Slim Jims lose their color when they go expired? I don't know. I always eat them too fast. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like, uh, so who's skinny and pale? That's what I'm saying. Skinny, tall, pale person. You know, on paper, I have a very bad guess for this one. Like, really bad bad, but my heart says that it's right. Okay. Three, two, one. I put Pete Davidson. I put Logic. This is Jack Harlow. <laughs> Pete Davidson do be rapping. He raps on SNL, and I didn't think that Grant would pick him for an overtime tweet, but at the same time, I was like, He's topical. He's the one who reminds me of a dried up Slim Jim. <laughs> yeah. Jack Harlow's not that skinny. Yeah. You know? He doesn't remind me of a Slim Jim. No. More of like a beef stick. Yeah, beef of a monster size. <laughs> then goes well with pineapple juice. So, oh, I guess we got to go triple OT on him. Let's triple go. Triple OT, the, one of the longest games of all time. All right, here we go. Triple OT. Our tweet is, oh God, <laughs> my pubes look like blank mustache. <laughs> How's this one not Jack Harlow? Our lights are about to go out. <laughs> this is the overtime's gone this too long. This is truly like, it's now past midnight. Uh -huh. We're in the 13th inning. They're still playing baseball. Guys are asleep in the stands with hot dogs in their coats. I think I know who this, I know who this is, I think. I'm very in tune with the mustache community. That's true. You know, you I get a lot of DMs about mustaches that people have. Join our mustache club. You know, yeah. I get compared a lot to the dude who's popping off on TikTok, who's like a Chad version of me. He's mm. got like the thick jawline yeah. and like mustache and long hair. There's a guy in a commercial with Martha Stewart right now who looks like me. That could be you. Could be me, but they're playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm available. If, if you'd like me in a commercial, I mean, my type is very popular right now. Yes, it is. <laughs> and I already have on-screen experience. Yeah. Three, two, one. Earl Sweatshirt. I put Drake. Is Earl Sweatshirt. Ah, <laughs> yep. Overtime loss hurts so much more. <laughs> yep, he was getting a lot of heat for his mustache. <laughs> it is kind of hairy. Well, triple OT thriller. Yeah, an absolute thriller in the Hive Mind Studios today. Yep. <laughs> there are a lot of mean tweets out there. If you have Tons. some funny ones, send them over to DJ Grant. His Instagram is down in the description, along with our Patreon link, our Cameo link. Thank you guys so much for subscribing or booking one of those. That really helps us out. Also, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all the stuff we said at the beginning. And Diggy, would you like to leave these wonderful people with some advice to leave or live their lives by? You can tell the greatness of a person from what they get most angry at. All right, this has been Hive Mind TV. We love you, appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Shout out Chris Pratt. Oh my god. Jab, jab, hook. Throw on the hook. Throw. There you go. Uppercut. Both uppercuts at the same time. <laughs> there you go. That's a that's a deadly move. Yep. <laughs> bow, bow. All right, jab yourself. Boo. Oh nice. That was Ding. Yep, there you go. <laughs> now go to sleep. Oh, you see oh, see there you go. You trick him. Now wake back up. You'll never be a boxer. Your form's terrible. <laughs>